would you use an FPV drone in a cinematography kind of way? One, one idea. One idea and the kind of thing I'm exploring with today is the idea of the perspective of something that flies, right? Like a, a dragon or a superhero, a film that had a flying thing and you wanted to recreate its perspective for the shot. This would be an interesting tool for that. That's one, one use of many, but that's what I'm exploring today. So we've come out to the USS Hornet here, a famous aircraft carrier in Alameda, famous for having a, collected the astronauts who came back from the moon and, and you know, all kinds of things in combat as well. But just kind of see if we can get the perspective of a plane landing on an aircraft carrier deck. So we're gonna try a few different things. The GoPro here, and then the, the bigger drone, once we've got a line that we like. One shot, on a boat, with a drone, out over water, on the beautiful San Francisco Bay. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Seagull attack, seagull attack. Are they going after it? See him in the picture. There you go, actually. They're making around. Making crazy interference with a tower. Interesting. I got it. Doing this professionally for like 10 years, never had a crash until FPV came along. <laughs> I think to get this shot, we're going to have to relocate to the very end to maximize our range out over the water. cinema camera so it's a little metal block this one has a micro four-thirds sensor so micro four-thirds lens mount and then I have this Leawa ultra wide lens on here just for the, the high energy kind of look of that um, playing with ND filter to get the right exposure we're shooting 4k ProRes we will check our prop nuts this is a temporary 
mount I've come up with uh, until I can get like a you know decent TPU situation that's less janky, but I think this will get us through the day. We have a line picked, so now we're gonna put up the big bird with the cinema camera. Then we'll hand it off to the VFX team for the cockpit and effects and the, the bullets and the, the rolling Pacific. You got that right, Chris? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Flight number one, we're gonna try to, this is a little cruise, not push the range too much. Flight one, uh, that's where we're gonna. I don't know if the camera has mic Seagulls do not like it. Man, they are definitely coming out here. Huh? That looks like I can't see them. Yeah. Since I'm, I can only see forward. Yeah, they're circling around, but they're. I think they're like driving you off. Too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was behind them. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. Was the first the first pack that flew out and got um, a couple flights um, on it landed at like 30 percent so in the goggles anyway it's it's looking good i didn't quite get the, the movie a little too high still i kind of want to come in low across the water and those passes were like in the 70 to 80 mile an hour range so I'm, i might up the speed a little bit you know push it into the 80s and 90s ripping across the deck a little better and uh, seem to be making friends with seagulls. These seagulls coming after you, literally coming after you. They're chasing you. They're chasing you. They're, they're close. Oh my gosh, they're about to... Man, if this thing were to hit a seagull, I don't know. it'd be interesting. 
You want to try hand catching? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's my favorite thing On to a boat? do. All right, uh, pack number two on the Fatar Morgana. We are going to try a little bit more speed, a little bit more range on this landing approach shot. And hopefully get it down. All right, good luck. Quite commit to like low, low pass. Feel that I have a little bit of anxiety about going real far out over the water with this rig and that it's preventing me from getting like the shot just nailed. I think I gotta get over it and just to send, send it. We got 15 minutes right. exposure. Yeah, it's just gone to shit. It's just went out the window. We got 15 minutes, we gotta be packing up. Okay. up for this pass. there you have it that last take I think we nailed it I think it looks smooth and fast I like the distance and the way it looked at least in the goggles filming with a tool like this you really become part performer because you're you're moving the camera in a way that you're emulating something then it's kind of a, a way of acting you're like imagining like a, a plane landing and moving the camera in that way. I can think back on times when I've shot things or edited things and wished that there was more energy in a shot or motion in a shot. For those times, having a set of tools that can take the cinema cameras and 
that allow you to perform different types of motions with it. This is interesting. That's fine. I'm really excited to have that in the toolbox as a storyteller. One last uh, flight. We're just going to get some B-roll of the ship. shoot with the Fatar Morgana 570. I have to say it's a killer film platform. It is a, it's a real joy to, to work with. Um, the, the range and the speed and the, the fluid flow is, a, is feeling great. And a, a couple of lessons there. It's really hard to land on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I think even with like a drone, just getting it lined up just right and and coming at that, that that runway looks so small from a shallow angle. And mad props to the guys who do that, the, the men and women who actually do that out there. The crew here is really cool, the, the Hornet, um, the whole museum, great people. If you're in Northern California, come by for a visit. This is a very cool piece of history. Shout out, of course, to Stefan, the frame designer, and I'm standing quads. We got a, an interesting new tool in the arsenal. Uh, we can send a cinema camera hurtling through space in a whole new exciting way, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna be using this in some exciting ways in the weeks ahead. Hi, right, signing off. <laughs>